In this video, I'm gonna be sampling two records, one for the drum break, one for the melody, and I'm gonna go over two quick and easy techniques for sampling and chopping. Let's get into it. I started with this blank program. I only have two hits on it, just a kick and a rim. I got uh, a melody sample that we're gonna go through and chop, and I also have a drum break that we're going to chop. I'm gonna show you some layering techniques, um, which I know that a lot of you probably know, but hopefully you enjoy this and maybe even learn something, who knows. Let's get into the drum break. So we're gonna go to sample edit, since I already have it. We're gonna go to drum loop, so this is what it sounds like. I went to the stems up here in the upper right hand corner. We press do it and then now we have the different stems. We have the other, the drums and the bass. Right now I'm just focusing on the drums. So this is what we got pretty clean, I got to say. Check this out. So that actually sounds pretty nice with the stem separation. It got a lot of that other noise out of there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop it. So what I wanna do here is cut out some of these chops. The one shots that I'm going to be making from slicing this drum break up, I want a little bit extra for each one shot. So like this kick right at the beginning, I want a little bit of the crackle, the hiss, and maybe even a little bit of the hi-hat that follows it to be in the chop. So when you're recording your drum loop, you don't have any spaces in between the chops and everything kind of flows nicely. So let's get to it. I'm gonna be chopping these up and then let's record a drum break. So you can mess around with it a little bit. And there's a little bit of a click at the end of this one, so I wanted to get rid of that. You can also like zoom in and really fine tune this. I'm going to hit shift and we're gonna convert. And as always, I'm gonna do create new samples, crop samples, create new samples. I really like doing this because then you can make a new program and add these samples onto that program or you can even layer them with the drums and get real crazy. So now we have a program with just the chopped up drum loop. This one has a little bit of low end with that snare. So I wanna go and take that out. So how we do that is just go to effects up here and we're gonna add an EQ. Okay, so now that we got rid of some of the low end on this snare, I want to go into these, um, basically the program of these drums and I wanna start layering drums that I already preloaded up. And then when you're in here and you you layered what you wanted, so for example, I layered this J Dilla kick with this drum break, so it hits a little bit harder. I already went in there and cut the attack a little bit and brought down a little bit of the tail. But now I wanna go back into samples right here, click it again, and for the leveling, you wanna click Q link until you make it here, and then where the extra kick is, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit and blend it in so then it sounds a little bit better with that chop. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Now what I wanna do is go back to this area. We're gonna hit this snare, the second shot. I'm gonna put another layer as well, so like a rim shot that I preloaded. Actually, I might even put two, because I got two that I layered initially, so that first rim shot that you heard was two rim shots, so I might be putting both of those on this. Okay, let's go add the other one. Okay, now we're gonna go to samples again, and we're going to blend these in. This third one really needs to be blended in. Let's record that, but I wanna make sure that this is already set up. If anyone can tell me how to already have this laid out to the bars that you like chose, please let me know in the comments. This is actually kind of annoying. So every time I click from here and then click here, this is just half of what I've selected. So I always have to go stretch it out manually. I believe this is like the grid. So if anyone knows how to already have that stretched out, 
without manually doing it, let me know. If not, then I might just have to reach out to Akai and you know let them know that that's a thing that I need fixed in the next update. Okay, so I like that. So at this point, what I wanna do is resample this. We're gonna go to menu, we're gonna go to sampler. I wanna make sure that right up here in the input, we go to resample left and right. Uh, make sure right here where it says in, you make sure that's in, highlighted, not off. Let's just click arm and then press play. That sounds pretty good. We're gonna name that, uh, ultimate drum why not all right so we're gonna take that off of any tracks i don't want to put that on any program or anything even though sometimes when these are not selected i've noticed that things will get uploaded to pads that aren't even selected so it's kind of weird let me know in the in the comments if you've dealt with that before or if you know how to fix that that would be really dope if not that's cool because i'm always going to be troubleshooting and figuring out little things here and there too you got to just click around and things like this and just kind of break it almost to fix it. So now at this point, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click keep, all right? So now what I wanna do is go back to menu. Let's go to sample edit. I'm gonna find that ultimate drum. So let's go back to main here. I'm gonna go click new track. I'm gonna click audio and I'm going to double click here and add what we just resampled in here. Okay, do it. Now we have this. I really don't like the tail that sometimes is at the end. I mean, it's, you know, there's a tail, it happens. So I'm just gonna cut that, erase that. We're gonna zoom out. And now we go back to main and we have this audio track right here. And we can go even to the arranger mode and here we have the drums right here. There's a little bit of a space right there, but it's not terrible. So we have the drum loop that we just made right here. So now let's go into the sample that I got from the record. Shout out to Stephanie Mills providing us some dope music to sample. Let's go into that and let's chop that up. We're gonna go to menu, sample edit, and let's find that one. I think it was new sample. So now let's go to process. We're just gonna make this a new sample. So we're gonna go to extract. Let's click do it. Okay, now we got it right here. Let's go into trim. I'm gonna make this a little bit less. And I kinda wanna get that hit. I kind of want to get this hit right here. That little bass at the end of this chop, that's going to actually give me an idea of what type of bass to use. So I'm probably going to use like a juicy kind of synth bass like that. I'm probably not going to use too much of the bass in this sample unless it sounds good. So I'm going to click shift at this point and convert. Let's do create new samples, crop samples and create new track. So here we are in the chopped program. So that sounds pretty cool. We went ahead and chopped up the sample. I'm gonna go in here and make a little baseline. Like, share and subscribe if you're liking this video so far. Let's get back into it. Okay, so now that we have this chop laid out and pretty much a backbone to a beat, pretty simple as you can see. Now we're going to make a bass line and I'm gonna be using one of the plugins. So we're gonna go to new track. Let's go to plugin. So from here, I'm just gonna choose a different plugin. I'm probably gonna go to bass line. So in order to play the bass with the MPC, I like to plug in my keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the back of the MPC and lay down some funky bass lines. Okay, 
so now that we threw down the bass line, let's go ahead and add a little bit more to the top end. Maybe like a little bit of hi-hats or like a cymbal or something like that. I'm gonna go in here and load a couple sounds so we can record something on top. Let's go new track and we're gonna go to drums. I'm gonna click browse. Okay, I'm gonna search for some hi-hats. Okay, I want some loose hi-hats and like open hi-hats like that. But I also want some crispy hi-hats like this. Okay, so I'm gonna just click plus right there. And I'm gonna turn the volume down on some of these as well. go to the arranger mode and let's lay this out a little bit so what I like to do is get rid of some of these unnecessary tracks let's just delete these tracks okay so first things first let's go ahead let's click edit up here and we're gonna double the length a couple times now we're at 64 bars let's bring this down the third knob down let's bring it back so we can create an intro. What I wanna do is for the following track, I'm gonna take out that hi-hat. We're just gonna make sure we're in the right cue link. So the second one down, just make sure you align that. And it's one of these, I think it's this one. So I'm gonna go to edit, erase, and let's see. See what it sounds like right here. Just do the first like 16 bars. That's sounding pretty good. I'm probably going to add some keys and you know some other stuff as well. But for right now, you know, I just wanted to show you some of the layering with the drums, chopping that up, and you know, again, building a little bit of a beat. So I hope you like this video. With that said, please be sure to like and share this video if you learned something. And also be sure to subscribe too, because I always come out with more videos every week, try to at least, and uh, sometimes maybe even twice a week. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace.